Just friends, welcome back to the grind. Let's see if we can do better today. Yesterday's performance wasn't exactly what we would call the best. Playing red kit from Turkey. Really tempted to just try to like snipe this right off the bat. I've had varying success with uh, this idea here. I'm so tempted, so, so tempted. Okay. Yeah, it kind of creates like interesting check forks ideas like this. Um, I don't think he wants to do that. I think he just lost a rook. Off to a pretty good start. Ah, messed up. <laughs> I think it's okay, actually. I think if he pushes up, I can just make my little hidey hole. I got a little carried away there. His pawn structure is just so bad, like, right from the get-go. I think the only way that he protects check here is either with the queen or the bishop. Ah, oh, yeah, so he does find that, so unfortunately I can't play that move. Oh, I'm just going to make a hole for my bishop in case he decides to, like, start pushing down this way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he's attacking the B pawn. This is expected. Now I do have a free pawn here. I also do just have like a check as well. I don't really like that square though. I'd rather protect. Hmm. I wonder if I can protect. Hmm. I oh, know that's just a trade. That would be kind of interesting to offer the trade here. Um, I'm gonna play just a little bit more normally. I'm not gonna get too aggressive here. I still want a castle and everything. Um, there is still a hanging pawn here. I don't know if it's worth taking it or not, but. It is free stuff though, which I do like free stuff. I would just totally ruin his pawn, uh, pawn structure too. I guess for the time being, since everything is... He's going to be looking for probably f5 next. So I think I'm just going to go for taking the pawn. I don't know. It seems good. Just do a sanity check here. Plus he developed his knight onto like a really bad square. Okay, cool. Honestly, I'll just bring it back to h2 here. I need to get my knight out onto f3 and then just look to castle. Although I need, I do need to be careful though. Well, no, if he ca if he uh, were to take the rook, I can just take with the king. Never mind. Yeah, so I just want to run this bishop back. I don't know if this is technically like a waste of tempo since I'm gaining a piece and then just bringing a piece back. Uh, hmm. What does that do? I do have a check over here. It exposes this pawn, though. I don't think I can... I mean, I have check and I can win a bishop. Then it's going to come at sort of a cost. His queen's going to infiltrate here. Hmm. I can win a bishop at the price of a pawn. I don't know. It seems too early. I 
Maybe if I just castle and connect the rooks. Also, maybe it's worth just attacking his queen. Maybe if I can get his queen sort of off of this uh, b2 attack, maybe it would be worth. Or no, I don't have a check here. What am I saying? Pawns protecting. I, I gotta stop being dumb. I'm just gonna attack his queen. And then probably run the bishop back. I'm guessing he'll probably like run back here. Or maybe b7. Yeah, c6 or b7 probably. Okay, kind of figured that coming. Uh, so I believe I just win another pawn. I win another pawn, but it's going to put the bishop in just like a really bad spot. I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, I can not always just run back to like b4. Hmm. Worst case scenario. Yeah, I don't know what's better. It's just such a bad square for a bishop. I like h2 way more, but... I'm kind of on a pawn sniping mission at the moment. Plus, these are stacked, so like, how much do we really care about them? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm, whatever. Let's see how this goes. I think it's A-OK -okay to just start trading off. OK. I'm just thinking to see if I can block this anyway. I wonder what's better, the open file here or something like E2, D2 or E2. Maybe e2, I can try to pin his queen and then just trade off. That's kind of an interesting idea. I'm already up three points, so. This game is quite the mess, to say the least. Uh, he can always run his. Bishop back here. Maybe it's just time to castle. Also, this pawn. No, this pawn's fine. Another free pawn here. I'm going to play it safe. It's move 16 and I haven't castled yet. Uh, but I do have knight takes and then check. Ah. Well, either way, I still have a valid move here. Maybe I should just develop the other knight. Play soundly. Not get overly hyper aggressive. I mean, being up three points is pretty fun, though. You know what? I'm going to stick to the principles. <laughs> Maybe I should have just taken this pawn. Now my knight kind of gets pinned. Hmm. 
If I could get the knight out onto uh, e7, that would be a pretty sick fork. So how could I get there? Maybe I just give him this piece. Yeah, maybe attacking the bishop. Oh no, I can't attack the bishop because his knight's protecting there. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to pin the knight. I guess it really won't be pinned since if I move my queen. Mm, let's not think about it too hard. The knight's protected by the other knight. So maybe I can go for my queen trade idea here. Interesting. I can't really go this way anymore. Offering the queen trade. Hmm. It was a really messy game. Oh, wow, he really wants that piece. Uh, this is okay. I think I'll just offer sort of the trade of pieces here. I wonder which way would be better to take. Maybe I should have put this rook out. Oh boy, here we go. This funny business. So I have a mate in one situation. So how do I not get a mate in one situation? I think I just have to scoot over, right? Hmm. I guess I can protect. I guess I can protect g2 with the queen. Maybe that's the idea. Isn't that like the only move I have right now? Either F1 or protect with the queen. I think I have to go F1. I'm pretty sure if he goes H2 check, I'm forced to F1. And then he just has H1 and then it's just mate. Right? Because a knight can't get onto uh, G1. I think I'm forced to play this. I have to get rid of this knight. Yeah, this bishop over here on... Oh, could I not? Oh, I screwed that up so bad. Rematch. I'm down for a rematch. <laughs> I'm down for a rematch. I don't want it to end like that. A uh, bit of a bummer. We'll do the game review uh, afterwards. 
Ah, it's about I miscalculated that. That was so dumb. That was so, so, so dumb. That was just so bad. Okay. What's the play here? That's the play. He knocked me to the 700, so I feel compelled to try to redeem myself. Somewhat. Mm hmm. Okay. He's looking for the really early mate on F7. We obviously can't let that happen. He's probably gonna take this pawn, I imagine. Really wants this. Uh, really wants this king side. <laughs> uh, why don't we kick his knight? This might be like a queen side castling type of game. Oh wow. That that is a move I've never seen before. Knight h7. Wow. That is different. I will tell you that much. I'm gonna see if I can get the fork going. I mean, if he wants to take the dark square bishop, sure, I guess. I always have the option to like long side castle here. What a strange game. If he takes the bishop, I'll just take back with the queen. Okay, he found the move. I could attack his bishop or try to take the pawn here. I kind of like the idea of like attacking the bishop. Maybe it'll force him off the square and then I can just take his knight. I imagine he'll just run back, but... Maybe this is just too valuable right now. Maybe taking this d4 square and attacking his queen... Uh, his queen. Attacking his queen. Attacking his queen. Kind of destroys his uh, center structure as well. A sanity check here. So you also do have like a check here at this point, but attacking the queen's pretty good. I feel. I need to make sure I don't get these pieces sniped here. I do have check, but it's not very good. I need to get my other pieces into play though. Hmm. I wonder if it's better to castle here. No, I think it's like such a bad square for the king.
Queen b4 is an idea. If he protects the king with the bishop, I can win his pawn and the rook. Or at least the pawn, which I think is going to be pretty valuable. I don't really want to get the queen out so early, though. But I have to get these other pieces out. Mm. I don't know. This might be a misplay, but we'll see. Okay, so he did do that. So his bishop is... is kind of loose here, so I wonder how I can go after that. Maybe the trade is worth it at this point. Maybe the trade is worth it just so I can take his knight here. I could also attack his queen. He just blocks that in though. I'm going to go for the queen trade so I can get the defender off of this knight and just take it. Hopefully just be up a piece. And the knight should still be okay um, because his knight will still be blocked in by his queen. Mm, well, that's not ideal. Maybe going this way is the play. Protect both pieces. Then he has a knight move, but I can... He has a knight move to b3. I can just recapture that with my knight. I just want to trade this piece off so I can remove the defender. I was thinking he would do that, but even then I can still just go here, still protect both of these. There is a check here, I think. There is a check. That's nah, just losing pieces though. Check, takes. Yeah, I can't take back. Just gonna fall back. I honestly think it, at this point, he might be better off just taking this bishop and just getting rid of the castle rights for the king. I think his bet bet is, best bet is just to trade off. He can get his knight out at least. Or can he? Oh, he's still protecting this. That's really annoying. Maybe I just block it in like this. Kind of an interesting idea, isn't it? This is an idea. Maybe it's time to get my pieces out too. Tell you what, I'm going to get my pieces out. I'm going to just start going for some risk plays. Trade off. 
Um, I'm fine to go with the trade off and check here. What's he going after with this move? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, he has to t he has to stack his pawns now, which is not great. I like this piece. Knight f5 seems pretty good. Yeah, I just want to move the bishop castle and then basically attack his knight at the same time. I mean, at this point, I could take the knight with the rook. Is it the play, though? I don't know. Okay. Um... I'm going to just take that. I also do just have plain check here. Thanks. That's probably GGable. Uh, he's just going to get crushed at this point. Yeah. Um, I like almost have mate, but I'd rather go for this first. Just inflict some pain. Hmm. How do we want to do this? I know there's probably some trick mate pattern here, but let's see. I wonder if I can take his knight somehow. No, I don't actually want to take his knight. What am I saying? Can win his bishop this way. He can't block in with his rook. I'm being hyper cautious because last game I played like a fool. <laughs> oh, that's fine.
Probably doesn't really matter at this point. I guess I could still castle, huh? Um. Hmm. Trying to win this rook somehow. Maybe I just go piece for piece. Maybe oh no. My poor bishop. Okay, I want him to move back so I can snipe this. Put the rook on the open fold. That was kind of a blunder. I should have noticed that. Mm. Let's see. Don't believe I can win the rook, can I? I don't think I can. Maybe I should have put the rook out on the open file there. This should just be mate. Yeah, okay, GG. Yeah, cool, GG. Interesting game there. Got to run. Thanks for the games. Uh, okay, cool. Let's do a review of the first game before we get to that. I want to do the quick review before um, up until sort of the blunder at the end. That was just like a really bad move. I just get it was pretty even, and then I I gave a mate in one. Um, I was just being very, very, what's the word? Very not cautious. I was okay with this trade. I know London system prefers to have the light square bishop, but I felt like that was okay. Okay, this blocks an attack on the rook. Yeah, so he saw that. Permits the opponent to force the loss of castling rights. Um, yeah, I was considering h5, but I don't know. I didn't want him to take this pawn. That was the main problem. So he goes king e7, and then he just takes... Oh, and then I have another move after that. Knight d2. Yeah, I mean, isn't he just winning this pawn annoyingly now? And then rook d1. I don't know, this just seems worse. I'm not sure, so he could take this pawn now. 92. Bishop b7. c4. Interesting. Rook c8. Which rook? That rook. C takes d5. And queen takes. Interesting. Yeah, so I don't know. I wasn't such a fan of this continuation here. I preferred to keep this pawn intact. That was my goal there. I mean, this was a free pawn. Yeah, getting the knight out was important. Tax the queen. It's a free pawn. Maybe that wasn't the play, huh? The bishop's scope. Yeah, I need to get out of the habit of leaving the bishops on the rim because uh, I always tend to do really poorly when I have a bishop um, along the rim. So noted there. Oh, there was a fork here. Ah, shoot, didn't even see that. Hmm. I guess I was just trying to move the queen to safety. That was the big idea. The queen trade. 
Yeah, I think pinning his queen would have been better first. Well, let me see the continuation because this is what I was imagining. Was I was imagining this. That's what I saw happening. But yeah, I guess I was already up two points, so probably offering the queen trade there. Since his queen was pinned. Probably should have just been played sooner. Yeah. What can you do? What can you do? Black has got rid of their isolated pawn and improved their pawn structure. Okay, good. You ignore an opportunity to eventually win a pawn. Okay. Your rooks can work together now. Always good. Push up, huh? I figured he had three attackers on e4. I only had two, so I didn't quite want to push up there. I figured he was winning at this point. Knight h4. I figured he could just push this pawn up, no? Right, and then that's silly move. This is so bad, huh? F3. Can he just win here? Or doesn't he just win a knight? That's so bad. I guess I win a knight too. Then he can take back. Queen takes on g4, really? Hmm, okay. Yeah, I blundered really hard at the end of this game. Man, the engine wanted that queen trade really hard too. <laughs> Feels bad. I was just making poor decisions at the here. This position was like very unfamiliar. I found the fork, it's just a little little too late. And then I gave a maiden one. So what should I have played here? I couldn't quite figure out what else to play here. What did the engine recommend in this in this position? Knight f1. Ah, duh. Right. So obvious. Uh, I feel so bad missing that. Knight f1. Just protect that. Yeah, it feels really bad. It feels really bad. Cool, no worries. Well, let's look at the analysis for the next game. Uh, is this the next one? Yeah, this is when I played the Karokon. Okay, so the engine wants to push up c5. He pushes e5. Yeah, I really did a big disservice to my light square bishop here, but I just wasn't finding the plan. Oh, so you can protect f7 with sort of knight on the rim. Yeah. Trying to follow the principles, not putting the knights on the rim. You know. Bad idea. So what should have been the move here? C4. Just pushing up. Oh, right, because then it would force his bishop to go back here. Right. And then knight C6. Ah, sure, and then going for the fork this way. Yeah, going after his deep one. He probably would have protected, though, right? C3, yeah. F6, just breaking this loose. Knight takes. Right, and then we would have had this h7 knight situation going on here. Makes sense. By pinning a piece. I don't think he found that. First game I've ever played with this concept here. Yeah, C3 was a good move for him. I'm taking with... Oh, going for check? Oh, right. That would have won that way. Right, 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 right. Bishop d2. Right, 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 right. Now he'd be forced to defend, right? Yeah, but even then, this is so easy to get out of. Bishop d4. Oh, pin the piece. Hmm. Couldn't he just attack this, though? Hmm. I see. 
Oh no, wait, no, yeah, I can't take that because the knight's defending, right? So just taking this pawn, yeah, so he basically like has no center if we were to do this line and I have like a very strong pawn structure. Yeah, so taking with the knight was the wrong play. One move too late. <laughs> Attacking the queen, yeah, I did see a bishop a4 attack the queen, but it just came a little bit too late. I figured he just stopped it, that attack with a pawn. Maybe this pawn structure is better though. Queen c3. Oh, very risky. Castles, really? There's like zero chance he would have not taken that. Well, castles, really? Does he just lose a rook that way? Doesn't he lose a rook or a bishop? Takes on d3. Interesting. Interesting, the engine wants him to, or it wants me to take the bishop instead of the rook here. I'm just curious what the eval bar says. So 1.7 versus 3.4. Interesting. It's that much better. Man, that's shocking. Oh, right, because this is an attack on the knight at the same time. Oh, so after he takes, he can also do this. Yeah, I see. Wow, engine, you are very good. <laughs> Pushing the queen up, c3. Yeah, never would have seen it. This seemed like the move where the game kind of fell apart for him. Yeah. After his pawns got stacked here and my queen was able to get out to e3, it seemed like it was all just kind of downhill. Oh, I plain just had mate in one. Oh, that's so embarrassing. I can already see the comments trickling in. You had mate in one. Move 20. <laughs> uh, whatever. I like how the game played out. <laughs> it was more fun. <laughs> Let's be real. Still mating five here, but I don't know. It was fun finding some some moves here. I should have looked for a better spot for the bishop at this point. Yeah, at that point, it was pretty much game over. But uh, yeah, GG's red kit. 1461 from Turkey. Appreciate the games. Got two games in, one video. That doesn't happen very often. I felt so dumb after that first game. I was just, I felt obligated to take the rematch with him. So, but anyways, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's games.